Playing music has always been just part of my life, part of the way I grew up. So it's just like breathing, really. My parents were both professional musicians, and I started violin lessons, private lessons, when I was 10. When I got into the Curtis Institute of Music, I went to Philadelphia to study there. And my boyfriend at Curtis sent me the ad that there was a violin opening in San Francisco. So that was the first audition that I took. And when I got the job in the second violin section, I didn't take any of the other auditions because I thought, this is great, I'll stay here. I guess what's surreal is that I've been here for 38 years. I officially met my husband through my colleague Jeremy Constant because my husband was his flight instructor. We did perform a lot together in the first earlier years of our marriage before we got so busy with kids. The music's just been in the background and in the foreground for as long as I can remember. And I think I take it for granted in a way. So besides music and sometimes a little bit of art, the cooking is the most creative outlet that I have. For some reason, cooking is just like the thing I like to do the most. So often I'll come home from rehearsal and I'll just start cooking. Other than working steadily on the violin, most things that I do, I don't have a lot of patience for. With cooking, you can get involved in a creative project and have a result relatively quickly. And I find that so gratifying, especially when I would share it with guests or with my family. I love creating recipes and just imagining how it's going to delight my audience. Part of a human drive is to create, and I, I think people are happier when they have outlets in their lives to be creative. My favorite part of performing, if I'm not nervous, which is always an issue, <laughs> is trying to transcend my ego. You know, how good am I? How bad am I? I'm just beginning to learn that that is really not what it's about. So many great performers have been asked about being nervous, and it's comforting to know that most of them get nervous. Well, I've been just crippled by nerves before, but the challenge of learning to make a relationship with it, that evolves. And so when you have a good day and that's working for you, that's very gratifying. I think when I was young, I thought that there were certain ways that everything was supposed to be played, and I just didn't know what they were. And then when I finally realized that what's so amazing about music is that it often is what you can't say in words. So then when you have the opportunity to look inside and say, what is this feeling like, and how do I make that come out? That is really fun. And just when you get to that, that zone, you know, People get in the zone, artists, athletes, that's the best.